you can be born again and broke. You understand that, okay? And that, you know, things aren't life, neither is money. But you're extremely limited with no money in this life. So we need to understand that Jesus preached good news to the poor. And friends, people try to spiritualize this all the time, like people are poor in spirit or something. Friend, what's he talking about? He's talking about having provision. You don't have to be poor forever. That's what he's saying. Proclaiming good news to the poor. He, he, sent, uh, he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Now, if you read Isaiah 61, it's a lot of great information. But again, personally, I think it's talking mostly about the financial, you know, the financial realm of life being restored to man. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, a recovery of sight for the blind. There is no vision without finances. Now, these apply to other areas of life as well, but there's no vision without finances. Provision is provision. You get it? Provision is provision. To set the oppressed free. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. What is that? The year of what? Jubilee. Now, listen very closely. Jesus said, then in verse 20, he rolled the scroll up, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue, they were fasting on him. He began by saying to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So he said, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, the year of Jubilee. It is now fulfilled. What the Jubilee aimed forward to tell people, it is now fulfilled in Christ. All that the shadow of the Sabbath said is now here. Thus, Hebrews, the fourth chapter says, there is now, now, not future tense like Old Testament looking forward, there is now a Sabbath rest for you in Christ. Everything the shadows said, the Sabbath, the Sabbath year, the Jubilee, Jesus said, it is now fulfilled. Colossians, the second chapter says, the reality is in Christ. Man, this is good stuff. Isaiah 61, let's just pick up after Jesus stopped reading. The second verse, Isaiah 61, he stopped at that verse because he was making a point of the year of Jubilee. But the chapter goes on, it's talking about you. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, second verse, and the day of vengeance of our God. Through Jesus, God brought vengeance against Satan's kingdom for holding his creation hostage to slavery. God is now exercising vengeance against that kingdom because now Jesus has made a way for that to happen. To comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair, They'll be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Oaks of righteousness, a planting of God. The oak tree display is a sturdy tree. It's an unmovable a display of his splendor. Of what is the splendor? Righteousness. What does life, what is it supposed to look like? Through Jesus, the restoration that Jesus brought to the earth realm, people are finally going to see what life is supposed to look like. It's the planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor, of his righteousness. That's the church. He goes on. They'll rebuild the ancient ruins, restore the places long devastated by this corrupt system, this broken system. Five aliens will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. You'll be called priest of the Lord. You'll be named ministers of our God. You'll feed on the wealth of the nations and their riches you'll boast. Verse 7. Instead of their shame, my people will receive a what? double portion. And instead of disgrace, they'll rejoice in their inheritance. And so they will inherit a double portion in their land and everlasting joy will be theirs. Friend, Jesus said, today this has been fulfilled. 
All land, the shadow, all land restored. Slaves set free. Free from the earth curse system of survival and fear. That's all fulfilled. The double portion is yours. But most people don't have it. Most people are not enjoying it. But one day, about 12 years ago, as I was going out to hunt, it had been a Sunday afternoon. As I was walking outside to go to the woods, Drenda was leaving to go shopping, and she rolled her window down in the car and said, come here. So I walked over, and she said, the Lord just said to me, the double portion. I said, I agree with that. And she left. I went out to the woods. In about 20 minutes, I had a nice eight-point buck. And it was getting towards dark. You know, I had about 10 minutes left of light. And I remembered what she said. So, well, I'll just climb back up in that same tree, tree stand. I was bow hunting. And sure enough, within five minutes, I had the second deer. That caught my attention. I've never done that before. For the next five years, though, every time I went out, I got two out of the same tree stand the same day I went. Or I missed, missed them. You know, I mean, God brought them, they were there, but I either got them or I missed them. Began to catch my attention. Every time I went out, I got two deer. And I thought, this is, this is interesting. Now, you remember the story that I shared about the uh, shotgun. Now, I remember before I tell you the story, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but I had given, I've given 30 some shot. I've given guns away all my life, but I never said I want a certain gun. But I began to start doing some duck hunting, and I heard they make these waterfowl guns. Didn't know they did that. And I was in Cabela's, and I saw this whole rack of waterfowl hunting guns. And I thought, wow, they have guns designed for duck hunting. I, just, I said it out loud without thinking, Lord, I'd like to have that one right there. I mean, I had the money to buy it, but this was January. Duck season didn't open until October. I just wasn't, didn't feel like buying it right then. Went to a corporate meeting, not a church meeting, a corporation asked me to come and speak. At the end of that speech, the CEO came out on platform and said, we'd like to give you a gift, Mr. Cassie, for speaking. They brought out that exact shotgun. <laughs> now, spiritual scientists want to know how that happened. Because people don't give me shotguns every day and why that specific one. Again, I learned, I realized that I'd never said that one. Although I'd given 30 some away, I had never, it's called the principle of a sickle, which you can study in my material. I'd never said that one. And the minute I did, it showed up. Well, I'm a spiritual scientist. I thought, well, what other guns would I like to have? <laughs> Seriously. I said, Lord, you know, the only gun I didn't have, well, there's probably a lot of guns I don't have. I don't have I, I, that I just buy them to hunt. You know, I'm not a collector. But I didn't have these really beautiful over and unders. You may have seen the shotgun two barrels, the engraved beautiful wood, and they're, they're expensive, really nice guns. I said, Lord, I don't have one of those. True story, a guy calls me and says, I want to buy you an over and under shotgun. So he said, I'm sending it in the mail. So about a week later, I get this box, and he sent me two, two of the most beautiful over and unders that I'd ever seen. Oh, wow. Now, there are two. So I call to thank him, and he says, oh, that's awesome, you know. A week later, I get a second box from the same guy with two more. <laughs> Why two? Why a second box? I'm, 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 think, I'm seeing these things happen, right? I was teaching at a church on a morning service, another church, the evening service. I went to the morning service. This is like a month after this, ha this first story I told you. A guy walks up in service in the Sunday morning service and hands me a brand new gun. I'm thinking to myself subconsciously, I usually get two at a time now. <laughs> I went to the evening service. A guy walks up and hands me a new gun. I went home with two guns. Now, it doesn't take someone with, you know, above average intelligence to figure out, wait a minute, something's going on here. But this story, I think I can see God saying, you'll get it, Cassie. Come on. I'm trying to show it to you. Come on. Just you're getting close. Come wake up. How'd that happen? Start asking questions. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below 
for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.